Hey everybody, um, I have the opportunity to, today to share a few words with you um, regarding a special week coming up, um, specifically on, on the Good Friday services coming up and then also on our Resurrection, Resurrection Sunday services uh, this coming Sunday. When I, when I look at, at Good Friday, you know, from a, from a human perspective, um, I think the Lord gives us uh, many examples of, of how to deal with um, difficult situations that we come in our lives um, with. And obviously, right now, you know, most of us don't deal with the things that, that Jesus dealt with and we're not Him. Um, but we, look, we can look to Him for examples uh, of strength and, and encouragement because in, in His humanity, you know, He did share, share with us different things that He needed the Lord, His Father, with help, um, help with. So one of the things that I remember reading uh, when He was about to go to the cross was when He shared with His disciples, um, He said to them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even to death. And He encouraged them to stay here and watch. So. I mean, even having that sorrow, right, to um, to accomplish what the Lord had for His life, it was a struggle, right? We could all, we could all imagine, and even with us too. Uh, sometimes we come across things in our lives where all we need is the Lord, and looking to Him, you know, is probably one of the best things we can do. And obviously, right, you know, looking at at Jesus and who He was, the, the sinless, spotless Lamb. Um, I mean, that that kind of supersedes, you know. Um, I think what we go through and and you know one of the scriptures I wanted to share with you today is in 2 Corinthians uh, 5 24 and it reads this is for he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us that we might become righteousness of God in him so you know it's I feel I feel so unworthy talking about you know Jesus in general right but I think as as believers as Christians we need to look and, and talk about him because with, without his example and without the death of the cross, right, the, the, the blood that was spilt for our sins, and, and as the kids say, we, we won't be made white as snow. Um, so that, that day is so, um, should be so sacred for us and so important to us. And I think in one sense, right, um, it, it should be a hard day to contemplate because of just what he did for us, you know, on that cross and the pain that he went through, you know, looking at the, even the, the representation and the movies that we see, right? So much um, evil that was um, poured on him. And then eventually, right, we, we see how, how um, his father in heaven had to, I guess, in a sense, right, turn his back on him. So even being alone too during that, that time and on the cross, it was obviously something that um, Jesus had to deal with too. But again, encouragement, right? There's all a part of God's plan um, for the future um, day that we're going to celebrate this Sunday, which is uh, Resurrection Sunday, right? Easter, as the world calls it. And again, right, there's that. I think one word sticks out to me um, more than anything else is that, that word victory, right, that we have through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And and, and even look, looking at that day too, right, where, um, let me see if I can find it here. It was in Matthew 28, and it's kind of when, you know, the day had already came, and he's risen from the dead, and and he says, rejoice to a few ladies that were looking for him, and even goes on to say in verse 10, it says, then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Go unto my brethren to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. So the, 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 the Christian faith, right, is all based upon, you know, the resurrection. Without the resurrection, we will not, our faith is, is death, more or less. But with the, the promise of the, the resurrection and Jesus living, conquering death, we have that hope to one day live with him in heaven as well. And I think as we live this life, we can rejoice at the same time, right, through our, through our lives and also uh, not even being afraid the things that come upon us because of our promise that the Lord has given us that we will one day uh, be with him in heaven. So, so I pray um, that as you um, go through this week, that you look to the cross and that you also look to the hope that we have through the cross. And that if you haven't already accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I pray that you do. 
Um, but more than anything else, I want you guys to, to just look to Him. And I know He will put that burden in your heart to even share this with others as well. And again, Ryan, I want to send that invitation out to you this Friday at 7 p.m. We'll be here at Calvary Chapel Almighty celebrating Good Friday services. And also we'll be here um, on Sunday um, celebrating Resurrection Sunday, uh, this coming Sunday at 9 and 11 a.m. Um, that day. So I pray you guys come. I pray you guys rejoice in the victory that Jesus uh, gave us through the cross and resurrection. God bless you.